we got this story from CNN. Ladies and gentlemen, they got him. <laughs> George Santos charged by Justice Department and federal, federal probe. And that's Ooh. it. We have no information. They say it's sealed. We have no idea why they're charging him. So uh, there you go. Spokespeople for the Brooklyn U.S. Attorney's Office declined to comment. It's a sealed indictment. And that's it. <sighs> this is the, uh, the guy who, I guess they say, lied about everything to get elected. And he was actually a drag queen or something. One of the guys that lied about everything to get elected. One I, of one of uh, four hundred and thirty-five. <laughs> yeah. this, this is how they're going to get the house back: mm. just a series of un, like sealed indictments. They're going to start indicting everybody for fraud, being like, "You lied to get elected," <laughs> and then just stop. Yeah, that's the job they, description. Look, I'm pro just, Santos, man. That guy lied so much and then lied in such a spectacularly hilarious way. <laughs> but how do you know? Want, how do you know he lied? Okay, uh, well then I would be less pro Santos if he didn't lie. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you, the, I guess, like, the deciding factor is the lies. There's this, there's this picture of a drag queen in Brazil, and they're like, that's him. And I'm like, I, I don't know that's him. Like, it's a, dra it's a drag queen wearing a bunch of makeup and a costume. I mean, it might be. I don't know. Whatever makes the story more hilarious, I'm for. Yeah, th th this is the thing they do. It's like, yo, if I, if I go online, I can find a picture that looks like Phil and then be like, here's Phil riding a giraffe in you know Africa or whatever. And people are going to be like, it does kind of look like him. And it's just, and then every, every, all the other stories, they're like, is it true you didn't actually do this thing or that thing? And I'm like, look, I don't know what he did or didn't lie about. I'm just saying, like, if someone says 20 years ago, if I came out, I was like, 20 years ago, I was riding my bike and I did a, a, a bar spin. And then you're like, that's a lie. Tim doesn't ride bikes. You know what I mean? Like, how do you know I didn't do it? How do you, how do you verify these things? You know what I mean? That guy is supposed to be a Brazilian crossdresser? Yeah. Nah, they got pretty convincing lady boys over there. That guy wouldn't cut, make the cut. I don't know. They all claimed that he was. I looked up, look, I got the Snopes article to fact check it, and I'm not seeing a conclusive answer in the Snopes article. <laughs> was Rep George Santos a go. drag queen in Brazil? And they don't actually look, say. they don't tell you. The one they, time we needed them most, they disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the fact check at the bottom? Tell and us. You, look at this. They're claiming this is it. Like, what? There's actually, there's a better picture of him I, I, alleged I, to be. No. Well, not in the Snopes article. Even Snopes couldn't confirm it. YouTube video. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, let me see. New York. Bet you he drinks Bud Light. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Speaking of uh, pictures that look kind of like me, there's a kid that actually put up a picture of someone that he thought looked like me. He's like, this isn't Phil Labonte, but it made me remember how much I hate Phil Labonte. So you're right. There are plenty of pictures out there where some will remind someone of someone else enough. Or like Clint and uh, Fred Durst. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so th this is this is the picture. They're saying Performa Eula Rochards provided CNN with this image of a person she claims is George Santos. I hope it's real. I, I just don't think it's him. That does not look like the fresh maker to me. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. I want to believe. I mean, maybe, but the nose, the nose is different. He's got a, uh, a, a round nose. This one's got, you know, the nose is a little wider at the base. Maybe. I just don't believe it. C could you imagine? And look at the lips. His lips are way different. This is crazy. And he denies it. Strongly denying claims that he once performed the most recent obsession with the media claiming I'm a drag queen or performed as a drag queen is categorically false. And they just go with it. And then people just claim it's true. This is, I just think it's nuts. Mm. You can't just take a picture of somebody and be like, that's him. And you're like, well, how, do I, how do I know that? So wait a minute. Is he being indicted for being a Brazilian crossdresser? No, we don't know why he's being indicted. <laughs> but people need to understand <laughs> this too. Going on? I've, I, I, anybody who's ever seen a celebrity, you know, walking down the street, you're like, is that, is that him? I can't tell. Mm -hmm. because when they're doing movies or doing TV shows, the angles are all different. One of the biggest tricks in media that confuses people is that cameras are typically held at a, at uh, like chest height, like right below your rib cage. And so this makes everybody look really tall. Mm -hmm. So when you're watching a TV show, men and women look tall because the perspective you have is looking up at them. Yeah. Then you meet them in real life and you're like, this dude's very short. Women especially, they film women from a low angle and it makes them look like they're tall and then you meet them in real life and like, this lady's five foot tall. Mm -hmm. So that's what happens with a lot of these, these politicians too. You meet him and you'd be like, I didn't realize. So I don't know. Why do you like this guy, Phil? What I, about? Just because he, he lied his way into Congress. <laughs> that, for no other reason. Just because so he, you, you like every politician. Yeah. Right? No, no. Yeah, I just don't understand how that separates so, him. He so blatantly lied. Like he told people <laughs> that he was Jew-ish. 
He like someone was like, he was telling people that he had like a, a grandmother that died in the Holocaust, and then he came back and said, "No, no, I never said that. I said that I'm Jewish. I'm kind of and that all was good. sorts of that yeah, was good. All Jew-ish. sorts of really, really, really big whoppers, like absurd whoppers that make it all right. So you're, you're a, really putting it on. You got to be a Pocahontas it. fan then. Uh, yeah. No. Yeah. Remember, yeah. remember love. when that lady claimed that Kavanaugh was was gang raping <laughs> women in college? Yes. And they all just run the story and they believe it. And not only, mm-hmm. well, with that story, not only did they not have ed- evidence, the evidence actually pointed in the opposite direction. Like there were people who were supposed, who were at the party where this supposedly occurred saying that, like, didn't well, happen. Well, that was her the story first story. Doesn't line up. The first story was when she claimed that he pinned her to a bed or yeah. something and then rolled around. But like, even that story that she told, I'm like, so wait, she was at a party and she was upstairs with, and there were two guys. And he threw her on the bed and jumped on her, and then the other guy jumped on him, and they rolled around laughing and giggling. And she was, and that's her, that's her like rape story. That that was the story, I guess. He like jumped on the bed, and then the friend jumped. Oh, I, th- on I him. thought I don't remember. I thought I, I thought she accused him of something pretty serious. No, but that was I it. just remember that the evidence of the the eyewitness testimony of people who were actually there at the event did not corroborate her story. The first, so that was I think that was Sweatnick or whatever. That was uh, first. You had uh, Christine Blasey Ford, and she was like, "I was at a party. We went upstairs. He jumped on me on the bed and held me down. Then his friend jumped on him mm-hmm. and then knocked him over. And then they rolled around and then I left." But none of the people at that party re- remember him being here, there, even her friend. She's like, I don't know what she's talking about. That never happened. And then she lied about everything. She lied about, she's like, I'm scared to travel. And they're like, you've gone on vacation several times on planes. And she's like, oh. And she's like, I have to have two doors to my house because I'm so scared. And they're like, you Airbnb that one. Like, you're you're renting it out. It's just none of it was true. Well, yeah, And then it was the other woman who claimed at a party, Brett Kavanaugh would, and, and the boys would have uh, uh, gangbangs where they would kidnap a woman and lock her in a room and then line up outside the door and take turns. Christ. Like I, these things don't happen. No. These people just I, I, make things up and then they believe it. Yeah. That's modern politics for you. Yeah. And then the BBC yeah. is like, we believe it's true. It, and Tim Pool's wrong. Do you think it's starting to happen where we don't believe it though? Because like, yeah, absolutely. Because like, like take the Trump story. Does it really feel like there's like momentum behind that story? Like. Oh. Like, really. like you were saying that you you're not even following it. You're you're on this show every day. Like yeah. it doesn't. I I feel like it's worn out. Like I, I like the whole wild claims thing. That's why I'm I'm saying like it's getting really hard to care, to be honest. Like we're in free fall. There's no southern border. The economy yeah. is imploding, and then this this stuff. I'm just kind of like, look, culturally, I think people have just said shut your mouths to the psychopaths. They just shut up. Don't I hear it? And then what can you really do as the economy is crumbling? Get out of cities, you know. Pretty much, it's the land of confusion. Isn't it wild how we're talking about some some pretty heinous stuff, and some <clears throat> some of it's like I don't know if I really care. I I don't know if I can follow along with all of it. I don't know how much of it I actually believe. It's a burnout, man. And it's every burnout. single yeah. day. It's it's yeah. several stories every single day that <clears throat> you would imagine are huge. But now it's just like it's just too much. I don't know if I even care anymore. Right. Yeah, that, that's that's well, the collapse. And, yeah, that's it. and yeah. and they they almost never pay any kind of price for lying, right? I mean, mm-hmm. in the case of Sandman, you know, he was able to sue him, and then they settled out uh, out of court. And I think some say that Rittenhouse has launched some lawsuits, and potentially he'll get some money out of them. But for the most part, they just lie constantly, and they basically never pay any price for it deferred liability it's like mm-hmm. these these articles and stuff like that if you word it in such a way well it's actually even what tucker was even saying like you can say something that could hold up a lawyer would sign off on it but it's really misleading it's not yes. really pointing but you in the right direction he, and he could have given a better example you know it's like if i said a guy was arrested you know in charge of the crime but uh, unjustly you might say okay that that may be true we don't know but then if i if i if i were to omit that he was arrested six times previously for the same crime now i'm misleading you there's better examples Mm -hmm. the example i like to give is quotes they do this all the time oh yeah i like when they when they attributed seamus's statement to ian to ian yeah jezebel did that they literally took a statement right from me one of my greatest hits (laughs) uh, a based and red-pilled quote about how horrible and stupid no fault divorce is and they gave it to ian crossland but they do a right thing before where, my eyes. here's a better way to explain how the media lies. Seamus will say, I once heard Phil Labonte claim that he prefers chocolate ice cream over strawberry. Or, or he said, Phil Labonte said to me, I like chocolate ice cream more than I like strawberry ice cream. They would then say, Seamus Coglin said, quote, mm. I like, 
because you did say those words, mm -hmm. it is literally true. And mm -hmm. if you sued, you wouldn't win because they'd be like, Seamus literally said those words. We quoted him, even though the context was it was someone else you were repeating. Exactly. I mean, they're using their language to communicate a non-truth, mm -hmm. which is lying. But you're right that in a literal sense, technically, they can say he did factual, say it, so. but not true. Magazines yet. have been doing that. Like, what was there was this one. And I might have just heard this as an example, but it was like Michael Jackson and Faye Dunaway get married. They did, but not to each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? That's great. Yeah. Sold That's the a magazine. good one. Yeah. It's all very Wow. Post we could we could use that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's let's look for a celebrity who just got married. Let me let me let me see if I can do a quick Google, Google search. Um and then use mid journey to put their pictures <laughs> together. <Yeah. laughs> oh my goodness. Who just celebrity weddings of twenty twenty three, seven hours ago. Who got who got married? All right, so I got this article, and uh, this one's going to be fun. Um, Sia got married, okay, like and also Luca, I don't know who those people are, so, okay, so Sia, right, you know, you know Sia, right? Mm -hmm. Musician, Sing yeah. from the Swing from the chandelier. Let's just fi try and find um, Simone Biles. Well, there we go. Sia and Simone Biles have gotten married. I like it. Yeah. 2023. Can you believe it? <laughs> yeah. That Sia, Sia and Simone Biles got married. Some mighty fine reporting there, I, Tim. I, I try to be a white pillar, and I don't want to say that there's no consequences to them lying. <laughs> you know what I think the consequences of them lying are? The success of this show. The mm. success that Tucker Carlson is about to have outside Community of the notes. Yeah, yeah. Like the, the success that Tucker Carlson is about to have outside of the system. The success of Joe Rogan and Patrick Bet David and Dave Smith and 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 all of this stuff. And I think the other cost is kind of the conversation that we're having right now. Like, yeah, I don't believe that rape story. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, like here we go. Well, uh, Abigail Breslin and Buzz Aldrin got married. <laughs> <laughs> like those are factual statements but i never said to each other <laughs> so just to respond to what you're saying i totally agree with that and i think the fact that there's real competition is a massive white pill my point about them not facing consequences is that there's no consequence from within their own structure so they don't have any incentive to tell the truth in their own institution but you're correct that if you look outside of the institution uh there are very good reasons why they should start telling the truth about things if they want to be successful but they're more interested in promoting their narrative than they and, are and they're actually completely being trapped within their dying model and their yeah. dying paradigm because like what was it like maybe six months ago that cnn tried to do that um cnn plus oh, about a year ago now yeah. actually time Ooh. flies it was uh, i think it was a little over a year ago right that then cnn it 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 crashed and burned Dang. like instantly thanks for watching this clip from the timcast irl podcast hang out with us live monday through friday at 8 p.m and become a member over at TimCast.com for uncensored, members-only shows exclusive. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you all next time.